What's up guys? Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to take a model from SketchUp and we're going to export it to Lumion in order to create an interior render. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright so for this video what we're going to do is we're going to take this simple model and we're going to export it to Lumion and we're going to create an interior kind of a living room scene where we're inside the living room and we're going to fly our camera in here and we're gonna have a scene set up where we're gonna look at this wall right here. So we're not looking to do like a full house or anything like that. Now, if you do have a full house model, then you might do that. But if you're just trying to create a rendering, you really don't need to worry too much about modeling anything other than the space. And then we can use Lumion's context models in order to fill everything out. So one thing I wanna point out before we do this is there's a couple things you wanna make sure that you do. So first of all, inside of your SketchUp model, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you've broken everything up by material. So, for example, this floor right here, I've applied a wood floor material to only this face. Well, what that means is that means when we get into Lumion, we can replace this material with one of their more realistic materials. So I've done the same thing with the plaster on the wall right here, as well as the aluminum on the glass and the glass itself. So everything in here has its own material um, because if you remember inside of Lumion, you basically replace all of a material with a different material, right? So if we replace this plaster, for example, if we change it here, it's gonna change everywhere. And uh, so I have a different material applied to this piece of baseboard right here. And that's one other thing is you wanna make sure that you've modeled out some pieces of detail like this baseboard, which you would see in real life, just cause that's gonna to add to your realism factor. So you wanna make sure that you're modeling some details so that it doesn't just look like you have like a boring corner in here. You actually have a piece of trim that you would have in real life that's gonna go into your image. All right, so what I wanna do in this situation is I wanna sync this with Lumion, but I wanna do something else first because I want to bring this in to one of the example backgrounds that they have inside of Lumion because they've already set it up with nice trees and stuff, and I don't really want to um, have this get dropped in and not have that proper template. So instead of clicking the play button in order to start Lumion up, what I wanna do instead is I just wanna open Lumion in the background. All right, so when you open up Lumion, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this screen right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna start a new project just by clicking on new, and I want to select either the forest environment or the tropical environment. In this situation, I'm gonna select the forest environment because what that does is that gives me a pre-made environment that already has the trees and everything else in the background, meaning I don't have to go through and do all of this. I can just drop my model in the middle of the scene. So this is gonna open this scene up right here. And so then we're gonna go back to SketchUp. So we're gonna go over to SketchUp here and we wanna click on the button for Start Live Sync. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna take your model and it's gonna drop it into Lumion. Um, and one thing I don't like to do is do camera synchronization. I find that the, to make everything really slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here to turn off camera synchronization. But you can see how now the play button is gray, and this is syncing our model to Lumion. So if I go into Lumion, you can see how that's actually dropped my model into this forest scene, which is perfect. Um, so now we can take the whole thing, we can move it around and we can adjust it. And so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up off the ground just a little bit. So I'm just gonna select my model. I'm gonna use the move up function, and I'm just going to click and drag this up just a bit maybe about this high. Since this is an interior render, I don't really care if it's up off the ground. If you're rendering something from the outside, you may need to like paint out some of the grass and get this to um, sit on the ground a little bit better. For me, I'm just gonna move this up because the scene that I'm trying to create is going to be right here. So I don't need to worry about anything see out the window right here. All right, so now my model is inside of Lumion. One thing I'm gonna do, you may hear it in the background, my computer is spinning up a little bit trying to display all of the trees and vegetation that we have outside of this. Um, I'm gonna turn those off for right now just to take it easier on my graphics card. So I'm just gonna go up to my layers and turn off trees. And so now what I can do is I can start making changes to my model. And so there's really three things we need to focus on um, inside of Lumion when we're setting this up. We need to focus on our materials, we need to focus on the context models that are in here, and we need to focus on the lighting. So we will work on materials and context here. We will add lighting 
inside of our um, photo editor. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all of the SketchUp materials with Lumion materials. And I'm going to bring my editor quality down to like medium, maybe bring my resolution down a little bit as well, um, just because I don't need to see all of that stuff to such a level of detail in here. Um, and again, and I'm just going to take it easy on my computer. But now we just want to go into our materials to start. And so we want to take our materials and we want to swap them out for Lumion materials. So there's really three things you need to focus on with the materials. So the first is the size of the material, right? So we can come in here with the materials selected, click on this wall, and inside of Indoor, we can find a material that we like. Um, personally, I like these polygon materials. Um, they have a displacement map with them, which you can use in order to make them a little bit rougher. So you can see how this displacement modifier, if I was to double click on this, can be used to make your stucco look more or less rough in here or more or less like actually bumpy. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this with a stucco material. And I'm also going to change the color of that. And you can do that by dragging your colorization bar up and then clicking over here and selecting a color. So maybe I want kind of a bluish grayish color or something like that. You can adjust your colorization by doing this. You can add more gray or less gray in here by dragging this up and down. So I'm not really worried about this being reflective. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this one good. So now let's put a wood floor in here. So again, we can just click on this floor, go to our indoor options and find a floor that we like. Again, I'm kind of partial to the polygon materials. Um, there are some in here that are a little more reflective maybe than you want them to be, um, but we can change that in our settings. Uh, let's go ahead and go with one that's really reflective just so I can show you how to change it. So what we want to do in this one, because it's super glossy, is we just want to double click on it and then we want to drag our gloss down we want to drag our reflectivity down as well. So, and you can kind of make some adjustments to that later. Um, you just kind of have to play around with it a little bit. The glossier it is, you can see how the more it looks like it has like a heavy stain on it and light bounces off of it. Reflectivity is going to affect how much light bounces off of it. So it's kind of a feel thing. Um, one thing that might help you is maybe pulling up a picture of a material just to see kind of how light bounces off of it and things like that. You can also adjust the size of it by adjusting this map scale option. So if you want this to be a little bit bigger or smaller, you can adjust the scale by doing that. So I'm going to go through and replace the rest of the materials. Just try to match up with real world materials as much as you can to make these look realistic. All right, and so once we're done with that, we'll save our changes. So now we have our materials set up inside of our model. Well, now what we want to do is we want to start setting up our context. And so one of the cool things about Lumion is it has a built-in library of objects that we can place in here. So all we want to do is we want to go add some objects, right? And you may want to think about pulling down like a, a reference image of a living room or something like that. Just remember that um, this is an area where a lot of people don't necessarily pay as much attention to detail as they should. And so basically what that means is you need to think about how something like um, a living room would look in real life. And so for example, let's bring in a sofa model and place it on our wall. That sofa has a lot of pillows on it. I'm not really sure why it has so many pillows. Um, maybe we'll pick something more like this leather sofa right here. So we're going to bring in a sofa right here. We'll also bring in a pair of chairs. And so when you're bringing an object in, if you hold the R key, you can rotate this um, so that you can place it in place so that it's facing the direction that you want it to face. So in this situation, I'm going to add a couple chairs. I'm actually going to get rid of this sofa because it's kind of small, um, and I'm going to bring in a new one. All right, so now let's bring in a table. So we're going to place a coffee table like this one right here. Then we can also go into our plants and bring in maybe like a ficus right here. And so what we're going to do with our ficus is there's actually a library of little, there's a library of little pots that you can bring in like this one. Then you could take this plant, select it, move it up, and you could scale it up. So you could make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to do that. 
and we'll just make sure to move it so that it's actually in our pot like this and then maybe add a light and then possibly a picture on the wall and then we can take this picture scale it up so it takes up more of the wall and then finally let's add some detail to our table so maybe some plates or some plants or something like that just something to make it look used a little pile of books is always good so then we could add some more detail in here a little bit later maybe we'll add a rug underneath this table as well so we can do a search for a rug and then rotate that and place it inside of our model so now we have our context pretty well filled out so we may come in and add a little bit more a little bit later but for right now I think this is going to give us what we want so now we have our model our materials and our context set up now we need to set up our lighting and our image so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our trees back on so we've turned our trees layer back on. Now we're ready to go into photo mode and set up our photo. So um, in order to do that, we're just gonna click on photo. And then first thing we wanna do is this image is way too wide, right? So right now it's got all of this extra space in the room over here. It's way too wide over here. We wanna kind of bring this in so that we get a little more of a focal so that we have a little bit more of an area for our eye to actually focus on. And so notice if you hold down the right hand mouse button and move your mouse around, you can change the direction that this is looking. Well, I'm gonna set this up so that we've got our thirds centered on this plant right here, and then also kind of on the plant right here. And you can adjust this a little bit more if you want to. Just make sure this is focused because an ultra wide image isn't gonna give you the result that you want. So this has kind of given us a view that we like. So now we can save our camera by clicking on store camera. Notice how when we do that, we don't get a very good image right now. What we want to do is we want to go in and we want to add a style. So we want to do a custom style. And in this case, we'll go ahead and select the option for interior. So that's going to be a preset that's set up to give us an interior render. And notice how in this version of Lumion, if I click right here, it's gonna give me a preview of what this, gonna, what this is going to look like when it's rendered. And so we wanna make a couple quick changes, right? The first thing I wanna do is I wanna use a real sky in order to cast some light into my scene. And notice how my interior preset has a real sky preset. We can click on that and we can adjust this. Notice how we can adjust the heading right here. And for this particular scene, unless we go to like right here, there's not really any sun being cast because this is a really low sun. So let's select a different real sky. So for now, let's go ahead and let's select one of these clear skies where the sun is kind of halfway up in the sky, right? Well, then we can adjust the heading on this like this. So we get some sunlight being cast into our scene. So we're getting some interesting lighting in here. And so in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this up so that my lighting is being cast into my scene where I'm getting some shadows on my wall, right? So you can see how these shadows are being cast in here because the sun is shining into my scene. Then the other thing I want to do, because this looks pretty good right now without us having to make any other changes. The other thing I want to do is I want to add a reflection plane to my glass right here. And so the way that I can do that is just click on the plus button for add plane and click on this glass and click on the checkbox right here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it so we get some reflections coming off of this glass. So now if I click, I look at my preview, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn my reflection threshold up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and click on normal for our preview quality. So that means we're gonna get a little bit better preview off of our glass right here. And so the other thing we can do is we can bring our brightness of our scene up by adjusting our exposure. So we can make this dimmer or brighter by turning our exposure up. So we can adjust that. We can also do some color correction in here. So if you like maybe a bluer image, you can drag this to the left. If you want this to be maybe like a yellower image, you can drag this color correction to the right. So you can kind of play around with that a little bit as well. And so from there, that's given us a pretty good interior scene, 
right? So let's go ahead and let's render our photo. And so to do that, we're just going to come down into render photos click on this button right here, and we're gonna go ahead and render our current shot. And you can render this to whatever level you want to. Obviously, there's some pretty high resolutions in here. I'm just gonna go with 1920 by 1080. And we'll just name this Interior Render. And then click on OK. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and that's gonna render out the lighting inside of our scene and create an image for our rendering. So if we click on the button for open folder and then we open up our image file, you can see that we're gonna get this rendering inside of Lumion. And so I'm really impressed with the quality of this render, especially considering the amount of work we had to put into it. We basically went in and used some presets, added some, uh, added some default models and we were good to go. So obviously you can get more in depth with this, but this should give you kind of an overview of how you can start setting up your interior scenes inside of Lumion. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you been creating interior renders in Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.